Welcome to Buckley Park in Stromsburg, Nebraska. The cost of the campground is donation based, so donate whatever you think is uh, reasonable. And they have very limited policy. It says four nights maximum stay in uh, 10 days. No campers left unattended overnight. And phone numbers, of course in case of emergency. It looks like Stromsburg is the Swede capital of Nebraska. Originally founded in 1872. I won't read all this stuff, but uh, if you want to pause the video, feel free to uh, read this. As you enter or leave the uh, campground, the park, you come to the uh, dump station basic dump station, no rinse water. And then across the way there's a uh, water faucet. The campground consists of a loop with a whole bunch of uh, back-in RV spots of various uh, depths. We've got a little center playground here and uh, a little picnic area across the way and more playground area way in the back there and, and a place where I decided to uh, camp and yeah the uh, road out here is kind of busy it is highway 81 which is a uh, major north-south route I picked my uh, location because it uh, faces west so that my uh, solar will work for the charge station. But uh, also, it's closest to the uh, one of the central water outlets, which is convenient for filling up, but uh, too far away to hook up to full time. Each camping spot has got an electrical post. They also have a uh, additional notice for campers. Well, it seems right there in red it says, no sleeping in cars or trucks. This is for campers only. In any event, they've got your uh, standard 50 amp, 30 amp and 20 amp with circuit breakers. Well, it looks like there are 11 strong TV channels in the area. There are no free open Wi Fi spots in the area. I suppose that's expected. But uh, I'm getting really good uh, voice and data signal. They have a nice little pavilion here for picnics. And right next door they've got uh, your basic flush toilets. And all that overlooks. Looks like a uh, frisbee golf area. Nice little creek and bridge running through it all. You know the uh, pavilion does have a uh, Swede built uh, design to it. Uh, here's something they have that's rather interesting. All places should have this. It's a list of local businesses that might be of interest to uh, travelers. As you may have noticed during this video, this park can be a bit noisy during the day but with being right next to a busy highway and all. But after about 9 p.m. things quiet down quite a bit. Well, except for the local fauna chirping away. In town there are a few cafes, bars, and a well-stocked grocery store. I was, however, a little disappointed the grocery store didn't carry much for traditional Norwegian cuisine. That being said, Buckley Park is 
definitely a must keep on my travel list. I like the offerings and the general vibe of the place. However, during my stay I noticed some odd behavior. Occasionally a traveler would arrive, drive around, and simply leave. It's not like there's a lack of choices to back into, and it's not like the price is too high for the services. I imagine they stopped by because they were looking for a free or low-cost place to stay. But if they turn their nose up at this park, they really should just stop fooling themselves and simply go to a pay campground. They clearly have too much money to appreciate what Buckley Park has to offer. Still, that leaves more for me to enjoy.